Well, good morning from Two Happy Children Farm. I'm just walking along the edge of the field um, where we've harvested up to and looking at the plants and looking at the health and uh, seeing if there's something we can learn from where we're at right now. Um, one thing that's always a concern for farmers is having strong stalks um, to keep the plant from falling over in case we have a high wind or a lot of rain. Um, so where we're harvesting right now, these guys are awesome. They're rock stars. And uh, there's still a lot of moisture in these stalks. They're, they're still alive. They haven't fully died off. Um, that means they've been putting the nutrition into the ear um, for the maximum amount of time possible. The other thing we're noticing here is uh, a lot of cracks in the dirt. This is just a testament to the fact that when it stops raining here in Texas, it stops. And uh, we've really had no rain since early June. But that was fortunate because that's exactly when the crop was finishing its uh, fill period. So I don't think this crop ever had a moisture shortage uh, overall. And the uh, other thing I'm looking at is uh, we still have green tissue on the stalk. Um, these guys are still somewhat alive and as we drive through on the combine we're looking at the moisture sensors and sure enough when you get into this stock here it'll be uh, a 14 percent grain moisture meaning these guys had been um, still very productive all the way up to their finishing time frame um, the stock like this that's already brown his ears have fallen over already and uh, he basically is a couple days ahead and you really want that grain to keep on filling and thriving all the way up as long as possible so that the kernel size and the weight is as maximum as possible so also when we were getting into this green stuff this is where we're seeing the um, yield monitor spike up to 180 bushels when we're in the drier stuff, we're down in the 145, 150 range. And at the end rows, we're down in the 100 bushel range. So let's just stop and look at some of these ears. We're looking at the ears, um, they're really full to the tip. That means in the May time frame, um, these uh, ears were figuring out how many kernels long they were going to be. And um, given the weather conditions in May, that's how long they are. And then given the fill conditions in June, which is after tasseling and pollination, decides do I have enough energy to fill it all the way to the tip, or am I going to fill it halfway back? So this plant had the right amount of nutrition and the right amount of water during the filling period to fill it all the way to the tip. Um, and you might also know that the only thing that would limit us now would be how many kernels are round. So if we can improve that, then we can get higher yields. And then how many kernels long, if we can improve that time frame, then we can get higher yields and get all three things to work together. I'd love to see this be a longer ear and then maybe pull back a couple rows um, that would mean I had really good growth during uh, the early May time frame. And then I used every single ounce of energy to fill out the ear. Um, this kind of ear it shows me I had a little bit maybe extra fertilizer that I'm not going to use. Um, but we're going to look at cover cropping this field so I can extract some of the leftover nutrition and uh, hopefully make the most of it. Thanks for watching. That's just kind of an infield assessment where we're at in harvest and uh, trying to learn as much as we can to look at improving next year.